Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here, not in Florida, but in Old World Blues, in which we're playing as the Alamo chapter for the Old World Blues A to Z series on this channel. Uh, but I have played as Catherine Fifion Tony before, but, as well as the Alamo chapter, but it's part of the series and I want to see what we can do with this, Brotherhood Consolidation. Building a new brother chapter is no easy task, although many of our forefathers' strategies and organization remain the same, we'll still face difficulty adapting to a new situation. An old new focus. While our brothers in the north cling to their dreams of restoring the old world, we haven't seen the truth. Technology still needs to be our safeguard until humanity is ready for it again. Until then, we will stand eternal vigil. The choice was not easy, but we all agree that it was necessary. Let us never forget our brothers, even those that have decided to leave the brotherhood for promises of restoring something that has failed time and time again. To safeguard humanity. Nice. Technological recovery. Now that we have disposed of Rusk's impossible goal of peacekeeping, we can return to our roots. Our efforts will refocus on searching the recovery team, scavenging and seizing any advanced weaponry they can find. Bottle with the demand Richmond. Our split from put the Texan Brotherhood into disarray, meaning now is the best time to press our demands. Richmond would cut off their direct access to the Gulf along with further empowering our industrial base. That would be great. And I was very concerned because we did not start with any sort of divisions. But now that we have at least some infantry, which is okay. And the power armor, which is eh, decent, you know, relatively decent. I was very concerned. I'm like, we have nothing to work with here. So, um, Brother Knights, wait, yeah, well, Brother Knights are okay. 14 combat. These guys are heavy patrols, 12 combat. Goodbye. Uh, there you go. Go with two, and then go with two as well. I'll probably give them a 20 combat just because we can. We also let patrols because we we're part, technically part of the, we were part of the Texan Brotherhood, but not anymore. Sure, why not? Also, let's take a look here with the, this Brotherhood. Our technology is extraordinarily limited, even though we're a Brotherhood chapter. We don't even have advanced power armor currently, but open the vaults. Uh, even as the part of the, uh, the Texas branch, we collected and safeguarded technology, even though one of the reasons for us though is that they wanted to distribute what we guard. We can't let that happen, obviously, but what about our lonely vigil? We need every item we can get, no matter the cost. Okay, so now we get the sophisticated tech. Yay! Oh, we get six research slots. Let's grab bicycles. Let's grab trucks. There you go. Um, we have the power armor up here, but we have half of down here so we'll do that you go down to one share the love um i wish you could just go to zero that would make it really easy and get it back so get rid of that stuff too at least start getting some of that stuff going so that's actually really nice um scrap trucks scrap trucks goodbye and some of that and what else we've got power armor we got guns we got support equipment we've got trucks basic caravan stuff And a management. Two more reasons. Ah, that looks a lot, a lot better. A lot, lot better. And we're still doing refined warfare, barrage balloons. Not bad. A mutant bulwark. Stop the manhunt. Or this one. Pursue and make a violent sport out of honey victims, sentient, capable humans. We need to put an end to this. No human is. Cattle. Richmond, we gotta need it. Direct land access to the USSA headquarters is basically mandatory. Let us achieve this by force or by finance. Let's hope that our former brothers may have some sympathy for our mission. They probably don't, in all honesty. All this stuff is a year at a time, even though it's going to really hurt us by not allowing us to get that. There you go. Purchase Richmond. Okay, we just buy it. Nice. And mutant bulwark. The mutant is a dangerous threat. We need to safeguard against those who are violent and be worried about those who hide it. Cool. Um, what are you, Benjamin Gordon? That's not bad. Cool. A level four general. Nice. Of course, we do have uh, military academy officers, military academy training. All very good stuff. Paladins, not bad. We'll probably have to go to senior knights eventually, at, at the very least. Um, I will probably also grab a knight hollows just to get more political power. Ten percent. First thing we'll probably do. We only get, I think we'll put 1, 1, 10 every day, that's not bad. And Houston Space Center. Next, we just strike a deal with Houston. We can decay, we'll demand access to their territory in order to use their technology to contact the Western Brotherhood. Or <clears throat> Lost Hills, I mean, yeah, Lost Hills chapter. Oh, we actually have a doctor here, huh? Oh, you're going to have one right there, that's fine. Go and do that, and do that, and do that, and do this. Good job. Free Admiral, yes please. Edward Mabry, less damage. For our cast from Central Houston, though. A war is costly, but we don't have to fight it if they just give us unlimited access to the facilities. But uh, if we have to, we'll take it by force. One way or another, the USSA headquarters will be secrets will be ours. Houston, do we have a problem? 
Apparently not. And they chose very wisely. Barrage balloons? Nope. Oh, the gliders. Yeah, I want glider planes. That's very good to have. The chains are by. Since forever, this piece of our doctrine has guided us. Command flows from top to bottom, an unbroken chain that makes us hard to steal. Unquestioning loyalty to the elder included. That is, try to find our elders. Contact quests must be established. And we're doing this. We're going to put ourselves in a war against Santa Anna eventually, but, you know, we'll see. I remember doing that war before, and God is it terrible. But, whatever. Uh, you know what? How would just have the power armor to do this? Supplies are probably got off, but whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Damaging program, consumer goods. I really want to get more political power first. <coughs> ah, Richmond payments. What are we even making? Civvies? Not a bad idea. Oh, yeah. Make quite a bit more. Mutant bulwark. Chains of bind. Eh, I'm about to begin a scavenging program, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. Alright, let's see what we can do down here. Chains of bind. Yeah, limited success, although extended continuous uh, communication is naturally difficult as always. As this has proven to be a good benchmark from which we can build on. Perhaps with further work, we can reach them more easily. Oh. We are alone. Mobilization speed, recruit population factor, attack and defense core territory. Nice. Oh, let's see. Our old world treasure. Not bad. For the secrets, this paladin skin. City weaponry. 30 day focuses are not bad, though. Um, mountain expedition deep into the bowels of Fort Hood. The place that back in the day had taken so many brothers and sisters from us. Decision system to explore and exploit the ruins of Fort Hood. Hacking focus. I think I did this one last time, because I have played this before, but oh my goodness, more intelligence, I like that. Satellite coverage, air focus. I want to do things I didn't do last time, and I would definitely not choose this last time, so I'll probably go this with uh, air focus. We have no problem, Corpus Christi, not bad. Old world boons. Oh. Navy stuff is pretty good, still. Delve deeper. Corporate leftovers. Um, attempt. Uh, doo -doo. Elder Emergency Authority. Ooh, daily power gain. Yeah, why not? Political power. A precarious situation or uh, necessitates a consolidation of power in Tourney's hands. It is an ideal, but desperate times require these measures. At least is said power armor and capable hands. Power and capable hands. <clears throat> Brotherhood Forges. We can't scan for everything, of course. We'll begin sending forges across the territory capable of producing our impressive weapons and armor. Emergency draft. Don't need to do that one, but that's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Uh, let's see. Less stability, but division, better division, defense, more territories, emergency production, not bad too. Brother Robots? Ooh, Brother Yeoman. I think with this, was la this was probably last time too. Mutant Menace? Huh. Well, I'll keep expanding ourselves. <clears throat> I honestly don't remember which way I went. I probably went with Nixon Workshops. I probably went this way. I can't honestly remember, so I'm gonna go with the military factories this time. Brother Forges. About Nixon Forges. Families flood the cities looking for work. Undead forges. In our alleys and street boys with yellow eyes, they lurk. Horde forges. With workshops comes music with factory artwork. Columbus forges. Yet still the Texans were all achieving smirk. Alamo forges. Our investments have paid and set our banks straight and we've laid the groundwork. This one. This one. 60 days. Oh, good God. Um, emergency draft. Uh, alert. Red alert. Bulwark. The best defense is a prepared populace. We'll drill every brother and sister on the wartime procedures, hopefully power, building a powerful bulwark in the case of war. We're going to hear about treasures from southern empires, please go right ahead. Um, we'll get an expert negotiator. Of course. For a few caps, that's not bad. Emergency production. Our industrial capacity is nowhere near arrivals. Extending working hours, excursion workshop jobs will help ease us disparity. Uh, boost signal. Houston's decay has done us no favors. Their space center, as useful as it has, or is, is nowhere near the power needed to reach the Western Brotherhood's uh, for extended communication. And then old world treasures. There's always plenty of lost technology in the various ruins around us. Beginning a series of expeditions into these areas will no doubt lead to significant rewards, after all. Is this not our ultimate purpose? Safeguarding what could destroy humanity? That's it. Secrets of Fort Hood. 
The Fortnite military installation was a key arms depot before the war, experimental and conventional alike. Our first exhibition here ended in failure with little progress, but a new elder sure she can manage this. Or perhaps it's simply her stubbornness and a desire to justify those casualties the base has already caused. And now everybody had gone through all those focuses, but expedition focus. One word, manpower. Expeditions are costly, not seldom require life. If we throw more into the reach, it might buckle sooner and give way so we can progress. And we'll enter the corpse. Corpus Christi, pre-war military installation filled with who knows what, ancient secrets to discover, perhaps the power to rule the seas. None shall be allowed to wield this, for the good of humanity, of course. None but us. Corpus Christi. After all our preparations. The corpse now looms before us. A stench of death and mutation echoes from these ruins, disturbing even our most veteran paladins, though we've taken it apart. Unlocked its secrets. Ancient naval documents, blueprints, and the knowledge to build ships stronger, better, faster than ever before. Brother the scribes. A vast majority of the scribes in the Texan Brotherhood were sympathetic to Rokas. Of course, they'll have demands of their own, meaning that to appease them, willing to spend time investing into their research and development teams. About in skin, which one do we want to do first? Uh, I'll do Codex Studies. A key failing of the Texan brother was their stray from the Codex inspired tactics. A return to our doctrinal roots will no doubt help clarify our integrity as a brother chapter. Constructive applications. Melding Codex doctrine with operational reality has never been an easy task. However, and nevertheless, Tony's experience with a circle of steel makes her the perfect woman for the job. Uh, weapon studies, or weaponry studies. Quality weapons are the backbone of every competent army. For all advanced technology, there's still more to be learned. Advanced fire team integration. The best weapons mean little for troops that have no training on how to use them. Field exercise might even. Now further research. As it allows our scribes to step out in the laboratories and observe the practical effects of the work. Paladin skin. Every paladin, uh, or every paladin with power armor is a paladin safe from harm. The safety of our soldiers has always been a top concern, encouraging further research into power armor. Safety measures will improve their survivability many fold. Specialized refinements. The bulky nature of power armor creates a never ending arms race between our ourselves and our enemies. While they struggle to create weapons strong enough to pierce our armor, we strive to do their most lethal round. As we're going to continue research with radio, radio. Uh, we're trying to get simple circuitry done so we can use that um, for our expedition to Fort Hood um, down here. So we can launch an expedition right now. We gotta have expedition preparation for more demo equipment and power armor. Uh, we could recruit Rosado, which seems okay. Um, so, prepare a hijacker. So we need side channel attack. And we'll need to prepare a gate crasher, simple circuitry. So this is to get that one done, maybe. We're doing anything else. Three unused security codes, which seem okay with us. Uh, Sending a man a prospector because you can. Paladin skin, uh, USSA HQ. United States Air Administration was once the leading explorer of the solar system. A government agency specifically made to bring home the knowledge of other worlds. Using its headquarters, let us see what we can find. Yeah, why not? We got plenty of political power right now. Decorate a hero. Can we get more stability? That'd be great. If not, uh, oh, I guess we do. Have, oh, my bad. I just realized we had combat simulators and not using them at all. My bad. We should probably use them. That would probably be pretty good. Um, artillery attack and defense is not bad, but still. What do we have over here? Well equipped army? Not bad. Over here we can get defense, offense, or less defense and more attack. So it's a battle. Oh, that's not bad too. I'm not really going to use navy that much though. 3%, 3%. Well, we got to go with this guy. Sun dogs. And if you want to follow the puckups, please go right ahead. Fortification, military dockyard. You know, we'll get both these guys, why not? A little bit ahead of time? No, I don't care. Divert the supplies. Oh, no, I gotta wait to do that too. Crap. Oh, well. Seize a fort, raid their supplies, of course. As we have a little more green tea. Divert the follower supplies. That'd be great. Go ahead and do that. So trying to build more cities, and I do actually want to go to war with Santa Anna as fast as possible, but we'll see. So we got the HQ done. After the corpse, air focus, paladin sight. Well, I guess we'll see very soon, and we're gonna wait till we get at least one of these things done here. So, and it's only gonna take 15, 14 more days, which is not bad. So a couple more focuses. Of course, we did read about Corpus Christi, but air focus, satellites, satellites everywhere, and we have access to many, although. Uh, with the time and effort required to crack the codes, we might only be able to focus on one kind. Should we focus on weather monitoring or orbital surveillance? We have no problem. Further work with the status will allow further insights. Let's hope that this will aid in fixing the blasted communications array. Draft the results. Fort, Fort Hood is conquered, taken, it's ours now. Uh, secrets unlocked. Who could have imagined we would ever achieve this? But we did. Long live the Brotherhood, long live the Elder. Of course, the big thing for us is to fight Santa Ana and the Texan Brotherhood, so we'll see what happens. Um. 
Yeah, we'll see what happens. They're 50 divisions, which is not bad for them. But it won't be easy to fight them. It'll be very difficult. Quite difficult, actually. We're still mobilizing. We did raise up our conscription level by one level, so. And Santa Anna is already spying on us. How great. Alright, let's come over here. Let's uh, prepare a get gator. Give it 30 more days and launch an expedition. See what happens. Forehead level breached. Eight. Oh, that's not bad. Prepare a hijacker. Side channel attack. Re frequency analysis. Side channel attack. Oh, that's over there. We'll have weaponry studies, I guess, next. Or whatever else we have here. Why not? Let's see. How many more days? It'll be a while to get the radio Relics done. of the past. To safeguard the past is our duty, even if it is out of physical reach. Codes, equipment, satellites. Uh, let us use them to discover, to prevent humanity from abusing technology once more. Only those worthy enough shall wield the sword. Magnify. Attack repairs. What equipment they do have is unreliable. Best repairs should be next on our pro lesser priorities. Um, let's see. Power in the capacitors. The problem seems to be twofold. Failing equipment is compounded by a lack of adequate power, which we'll address next. Assign more engineers. Oh, look at that. We can't afford to delay any longer. We'll reduce some, uh, most of our engineers to the space center to rapidly increase the project's progress. And uh, one final advancement. The work's almost done. Combining all the efforts so far, we can construct a vastly improved space center, capable of broadcasting across continent. Brotherhood runways. With all that knowledge we have available regarding aviation, we might as well start putting it to use. Clear sky. Get out of your plane. Alamo of the skies. Any brother that fights in the skies is a safe brother. From that safety they can provide for those uh, below as well. The more we rule the skies, the safer we'll be. Open the armory. In times of desperate need, we can use what we safeguard from others. And it's time to play their toys, because I love playing with toys. Reactivate our old gear. A desk has been covering these armors and weapons for too long. Let us fill them with life. And open the vaults. These are the last reserves. Everything else is going to be what we can find, scavenge, and steal. Let's hope it'll suffice. Like basically, we're waiting for Texas coming, and then this time as a, as a farce against Santa Ana. Um, I do want to do the whole thing here. We're going to wait and finish off the pair of the Gatecrasher, because now we've got like 22 off 25 codes, which I don't think is bad. We could recruit Rosado, but I don't know. I just like doing things ourselves. I want this one as well, but we have no demo equipment, so. 25 more soldiers. 150 is probably not very good. We could try, and it doesn't go well. We can always, like, reload the save, so. Um, as you know, if you follow my channel at all, you know I like to save a bunch. Also, as you can tell, this video is not very long. I've just been sitting here doing focuses, just waiting for someone to try to kill us, so. We'll see what happens. If things go poorly, then things go poorly, but whatever. Five days? Let's see what happens in five days. Let's see. Because if not, I will go and just beeline focusing on power armor and demo equipment, so. Down a couple of repairs here and there. Do some of this. Plant cultivation. Resource production stuff. Ah, security guard uh, Gamma 13. Ah, some adventure into the depths of Fort Hood. We managed to reach his door. Impassable and with no alternative routes inside. A massive fog of reinforced metal blocking any further progress. We need to get to the, here to f un further uncover the secrets of the past. Who knows what wonders will wait for us beyond the obstacle? Use brute force. But I'll sm uh, smack it violently. Even if it might explode or cave in or blow up. Perhaps we should it's not, not smack it after all, but rather blow it up. Find a way around. Very unlikely we'll find a way around. Very, very unlucky, but never to try, right? Hack system. Using uh, security codes prepared by our scribes might be the best option if we, if we have enough codes. Retreat. We're going to return return a later date. Better equipped and better prepared to deal with this particular issue. Uh, hack system. See what happens. Success. For three we manage, we dwell onwards, ever deeper. Every step forward brings us closer to victory. Bound by steel. Oh. Oh, so we just keep doing this again and again and again, maybe. Because we have breach level 14. Oh, that's not bad. So you know what? Where's, where's the demo equipment? We barely have any demo equipment. Go down to two. Uh, more power armor. We have, like, no power armor because we keep making more divisions, which is, you know, fair. I was trying to get more millies, too. Um, that's the case. I'm only recruiting one division for now, 47, 44, not bad. Um, we need at least 10 things of demo equipment, which is, well, we'll get there in about in three days. Not bad. We've got plenty of political power as well, which is pretty nice. Mm. Demo equipment's okay. I mean, just, this, all stuff's okay. I guess we can Marcus Ellick because he's unique. I'm sure I did that last time too, but still. Uh, operations? Sure, why not? <clears throat> Let's get this one done again. Hey, maybe we'll launch another expedition, because we have 175, which is not bad, but still. But well, we'll get there. And I've already gone ahead and did this. We're in this level makeshift cover. Ooh, reduction, cost reduction bonus, doctrinal research bonus. Nice. I love research bonuses. They're just so nice to have. It's ridiculously awesome. Expedition preparations. Sure. Why not? So that gives us about five more days, and we'll do it one more time. As we launch another expedition. And power the towers. The air is a battlefield. Before the Great War, the most powerful nations understood that the sky itself was a battlefield. The high cost of an effective air force is unsustainable for many groups lately, but not for us. And, expedition preparation, and there we go. Launch it. 
225, 25, 14, not bad. Hopefully we have enough divisions. We do have uh, anti-tank on these divisions already, but you never know. Uh, we do all these, we do all these as well. Death from above, it's important to note, or remember that our air force exists to support our army. Investment in planes designed for the purpose will greatly aid our future battles. A corridor of guns. Guns, 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 guns. Usually our brothers. <clears throat> and sisters get very excited about the prospect of finding automated futuristic weapon systems that can cut down a man even in a T-51B in seconds. There's one exception to this though, and one small exception. If the guns are pointed at our brothers, it's a very different thing. We have to decide what do we want to do. How will we best this particular obstacle? We use brute force, superior hack, hack, or retreat. So brute force. Brute force against turrets might work, but we'll have to accept that will cause us to lose brothers and sisters. Superior hack. Excessive amount of codes, we might be able to crack them all. Hack. These turrets are sophisticated. Our number of codes might not be sufficient to disable them all, but we can clear out the rest of the firepower. Retreat. We can do a balance approach. Use superior hack. Oh. By whatever means, we manage to get past those turrets. Let's hope we won't see any of trouble with some things. Onwards. There you go. Um, can we do it again? Because that's not bad. We still have 20 codes, 250 manpower, and 20. Uh, we reach level 20. We're going to breach as far down as we possibly can. We get 1.43 political power every day, which is awesome. Chief of the Navy, kind of a waste for us, but you know what? We get daily naval XP. You know, why not? Uh, the pre-war USA has always had a pen for uh, blocking progress of those that wanted to complete or compete. Pulse fields that easily allow those with the right genetics makeup to pass unhindered, such as uh, as one, one such obstacle. Everyone not coded for the them simply ceases to exist once trying to pass them. This is integrated into atomic particles, of course. The vain glow they admit makes the session of the Ford so deep underground seems particularly eerie. Let's hope we find a way around or the way back. The force. Uh, does not bode well, but if exists, we can drive a failure. Uh, the superior better option of assuming we have enough codes retreat. Well, hack is hack it. Success. We managed it by code by force through or through. How deep does this rabbit hole go? Rabbit hole or rabbit hole? How much more must we endure to finally reach our destination? I don't know. I kind of like this uh, uh, the journey, though. Because I, I like being successful. I'm sure you guys like being successful as well. Launch another one. Why not? And while we're at it, I always do this one. There's no point doing like this naval stuff if you're not really going to use the naval the navy very much. Air stuff is a little better, but still, still, you know, still. Death from above. Close air support bomber technology. I love close air support. Slumbering sentries. We see how we do with them. Turn them into scrap metal, taking meticulous care to remove them all, or do we just try to take them over? Let's hope our choice is the right one. While we made, uh, blah, 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 blah. we wade between the bodies of a thousand sleeping sentries. Smash them. Better safe than sorry. Attempt to hack them. Retreat. Well, we don't really need more robots. How much? Uh, oh, we need scrap metal. Smash them. Smash them to bits. Smash them until like their mothers start crying. Anyways, um, nature circuitry. Why not? Let's do it. Resource excavation. Nice. Basic smeltery. Good. Why not? Level reach level twenty eight. How far does this go down? <coughs> Excuse me. Three hundred twenty five manpower. Pretty decent. And we can go to War Santa Ana. Now that might not be a good idea. But, uh. Sentinel Automated Power Armor Unit. Oh, look at that glow um, illuminating it. And the terminal with those schematics. Yet the heart of the piece is a software sleeping with those, in those terminals ready to be taken. Ready to awake our suits even without masters. Slave to the command of a singular brother. Well, we come legion with this. It was worth every single sacrifice. Steel Sentinels will bring word to a lawless wasteland, forged in steel tempered in blood for the Brotherhood. Sentinel Slave Command. Is that over? Oh no, it might be over. Well, we'll see. Um, Sentinel Steel Command Command Module. Yeah, here we go. Sentinel Automated Power Armor Unit. Oh, this says a map, all right. Necessary equipment to slave multiple suits to the commands of a singular leader. A line for greater autonomy and far more efficient manpower usage. A marvel of US engineering if it had only been there sooner. Oh, that's cool. Let's take a look at it real quick before we end the episode. Because even though this is a short episode, it's still okay. Oh, it's 16 combo with. Oh, are these, these are not considered special forces. Oh, you can have like a bunch of Brotherhood Paladins and then send out detachments? Oh, that'd be so cool. So these guys are the Knights. Alright, so actually, no, we want Paladins. Very similar soft attack, even though they have less here. Um, hard attack is 35.8. Eh, it's very close. Breakthrough is 108 versus 93, which is not as good. Defense is a little better for these guys, but they're, they are 20 combo with. Organization is 77, while well, this is a drastically lowered. So 58 or so, HP 320, and HP 320. So overall, that's not bad. That's cool to see. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I will probably go to War Santa Ana, as well as the Texas Brotherhood. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.